<laughs> she's, she's getting it. She's getting the hang of it. She's like, almost there. Almost there. <laughs> All right, so we got a little bit of a snafu this morning. We uh, stayed in Pine. Uh, it's actually called Pine Top last night. A really neat little town. I like that place. So that's going to be a place that I operate out of going forward, especially when I come up to this area to hang out. Um, but we're going to go to the uh, Apache, uh, the Fort Apache Reservation to go to this fishing spot. And unfortunately, we got on the highway to go there, and there are signs saying that it's shut down like 20 miles ahead, and you can't go, you can't, you can't get through. So we've got to backtrack, and uh, we're going to go back through Sholo, and then circle around the back way, and then see if we can get back into this area. So a little bit of a detour. It was only going to take us about 30 minutes this morning. Now it's going to take us two hours. But you know, beautiful day out, and love the forest around here. It's just these massive ponderosa pines. So it's fun driving around in these. I decided to take a few side roads on my trip over to this fishing destination. And the first spot was I noticed this little tiny town called Vernon on the map. And so I thought, well, why don't I stop by and just see what it's all about? Seems like a really sleepy community. It looks like the census in 2020, there was only about 120 people that lived there. And it seems to be the main commerce is, is ranching. It used to have a sawmill. That's what got this town going back in the late 1800s. But that since has moved to a lakeside, which is a nearby town. And so it seems like this is a pretty quiet area. It it's about, sits at about 7,000 feet. It is really pretty. And it has, like um, I think, a pretty big religious influence because there was a Mormon ward there that disbanded in the 1950s. But I think a lot of the family stuck around. So went ahead and, and checked this town out. And then decided that what I wanted to do, instead of driving the normal road, like the paved road, to the fishing spot, I was going to go ahead and drive... A, a county road that's also turns into a forest service road so the one thing one advice i can give you if you get on bumpy roads air down your tires because it will make your road or make your drive just so much more comfortable this county road ended up being a complete surprise to me i lo absolutely love the terrain went by a couple different lakes and there was this really cool river that was coming out of one of them and it, it was amazing it was like this really green mossy uh, riverbed and just super cool scenery and the forest itself driving through there it, like the ponderosa pines were amazing and it's sitting on the road here so we're going to throw it off the road yep that's what it was dude that is not cool that's right stay right there I'm gonna take this inside so no one gets hurt Look at that, keeping America safe. What you think, girl? Just a little bit of a slight issue here. We got to the trail. I love it. It's four-wheel low only, which means that no one would be back in here. And the whole time that I was packing up, I was like, you know, should I bring my chainsaw with me or shouldn't I? And I came across this. The trail is blocked not too far into where we need to go. So really kind of bummed about this, but I did notice that the mosquitoes are ravenous. Like they literally, I got out of the truck and they started attacking right away. So we're gonna go look for a different spot, a little bit more exposed with some more wind. That way the mosquitoes won't be able to fly and uh, we'll be in good shape and won't get hammered. Meadow was just getting hit way too much and I don't wanna subject her to that up here because that just wouldn't be too much fun for her. So off to the next spot. Camp's all set up, really love this location. I did not think that I would get a spot this good with this many resources at it this close to the river. So I'm, I'm really stoked. We got a little spring over there, so I've got water. And then the proximity of the river, I just get up in the morning and walk down here. So walk down this little area here where there's actually a little stream that forms from a bunch of springs that converge here. And as we get closer to the river down there where those rocks are, um, this actually becomes more of a legit stream, so 
a bunch of little feeders go into this section of the river and there's apparently a Apache trout in here, native Apache trout. So we're gonna go see if we can find those. Seems like a pretty good spot. This is a deep hole right here. And this water is just circulating like this. I think if I throw a fly in there, I might get something to rise. Let's go to shot. monster. Come on, Meadow, let's go this way. Meadow, back here. No, no, no. You don't want to get close to that. But uh, unfortunately, I didn't catch any fish. I think, <laughs> I think Meadow spooked them all, but she had fun running around. And it was fun watching her run around. I've got to get her dried off though before evening time sets in because I do not want a wet dog in the topper with me. And right now she's covered. So I'm gonna see if I can get her jump in the water one more time to rinse off as we get out up here. And then we'll make our way back up to camp to get dinner going. <laughs> Had a relaxing end of the day, just cooked a pizza over the campfire and then hung out with Meadow as the sun went down. catch another fish today after breakfast if possible. Definitely want to try it. <laughs> Nothing like a good pancake flip. So about seven o'clock in the morning at this new campsite, we had a big herd of elk roll down the hillside and start grazing the grass here in this meadow. It seems to me that there's a lot of water that comes through here. It looks like springs that feed this meadow and it's why it's so green and lush. And these elk took advantage of it more than once while we were here. We they came by about, I think about like three or four times. And luckily each time we were in the topper and so they just did their thing and I was floored the entire time uh, meadow hardly made any noise. Don't be going for my spoon. <laughs> no. Those are our friends. Be quiet.
doing good. You're doing real good, Meadow. Good job. Good job. You just chilled out and you didn't make any noise. I'm proud of you.